I mean, can they just keep tearing down warehouses so that way they can <laughs> make it be the last damn thing that ever crawled out of there? That's obviously not a good business model. Let's touch on the Russell's Reserve single Rick house. So in our first coverage, we we stepped out on the edge. Uh, you know, Russell's Reserve in the past isn't that expensive. Russell's Reserve 13, which is barrel proof, uh, you know, and 13 years old is finally just broken the hundred dollar mark. I kind of thought that the single Rick house would be, you know, about ninety nine dollars, but I was willing to throw in some room for inflation. So I think we quoted this about one twenty nine, one thirty nine. And then last week, the product announcement dropped and the price was significantly different. Yeah, damn, were we off on that one? So according to Campari's press release, the SRP for the Russell's Reserve single Rick house is going to be two hundred and forty nine dollars, which must mean that there's going to be some serious increase in price of their master's keep, I would imagine. Yeah, I mean, 249 I you know, I was willing to be wrong on price. I thought maybe it would go a little bit higher. But when you think about, you know, is this barrel proof? I mean, it's a couple points higher than 55. So this is likely to be a barrel proof, but I don't think it's 13 years old. And I don't right. think, you know, it's 72 barrel blend. Like it doesn't seem super limited compared to Russell's Reserve. 13 like what's this going to do to the market yeah so what's interesting about this to me is that they didn't specifically age state the product they said it is all at least 10 years old meaning that they have got 10 year old barrels mixed in with who knows how much older they go from there why they wouldn't just say that is beyond me again like i feel like Kapari has a huge tendency to whiff on the press release of their products but mm-hmm we discussed that last time, so I'll try to stick to just the pricing piece here. But they are putting this out there at at least 10 years old. And sure, it is a historical line. Like the whole single Rickhouse series is going to presumably feature a different Rickhouse in each release. And yes, Camp Nelson Warehouse C is going to be, de or it is decommissioned, I suppose. Right. They're not going to be aging any new product there. So... I get it that this will be potentially the last product we'll ever see roll out of that warehouse. Does that make it special enough to cost more than twice Russell's 13, which is nacho filtered, barrel proof, age dated, like all the things <laughs> that the whiskey enthusiast like clamors for? Is it really worth that much more just because it's from a, a Rick house that's going to be like gone? Right. I don't know. That's a tough sell, I think. And, and it's weird because for you and I, it is a tough sell on paper. And all I could think about is that maybe Campari has some extra data that we don't have, right? Like think about how many people missed out on Russell's 98, 2002, 2003. How many people maybe didn't get that wild turkey master's keep one. And, you know, how many people have been consistently trying to get Russell's 13, you know, whether it's batch one, two, three, like they're consistently releasing those now. I have to imagine that people are going to be way less price sensitive to this just because they wanted a wild turkey limited edition. Like I have a hard time believing that when these hit shelves at 249 or higher, you know, maybe some people will hesitate, but I can't imagine these are going to sit. And no. that's an interesting, like it feels weird to spend that much money on wild turkey. But I have to imagine the dude who's been like, man, I missed out on Russell's you know, the 13 and the master's keep, like this might be the only one I see. I got to take it in the instant sell. Yeah, I could see that working. Does it work again though? Like what do they do next year or or whenever the next release in the single Rick house series is? I mean, can they just keep tearing down warehouses so that way they can <laughs> make it be the last damn thing that ever crawled out of there? That's obviously not a good business model. So like, what do they do to make the next one worth 250 bucks and what does that do to master's keep right yeah this is i don't want to call it problematic it's confusing to me i don't think that there's a clear line of logic within campari as to why this should be priced like this i think it will do funny things to future master's keep whether or not the msrp changes but stores might be like well we sold all of our last limited edition at 249 or 299 or 340 you know whatever some markup. We're just going to do that with all products now, which is going to work against Campari for sure. But yeah, like CNC, Camp Nelson C, it makes a lot of sense. Like our future version is going to be cheaper. I, I can't imagine they will. Yeah, I just, I don't quite get it. Uh, to me, the entire announcement of this 
has just been confusing. More than anything, I walk away from this feeling like I don't know what in the hell is going on. <laughs> I mean, we're a little young to be jaded with whiskey, and, I, and I'll tee off with this final thought. Like, my only thought for this was, thank God they didn't tell us that this was going to be one of six, right? Like, we're going right. to, this collection will be six single barrels, because all that's going to do is create mass hysteria to get all six and then resell them as a set on the secondary. Like, who knows? Right. This could go on. This could be a one-off for all we know. It It's Campari. It's a total wild card. They could keep doing this for the next 20 years because they have a lot of warehouses. But I think it, it, at least if if people are going to go catch them all, you know, they could be along for an inex, you know, a very expensive ride. And I'm curious to see how that ends up.